In this video, we'll discuss some basic design tips that will make your website look more professional. You'll notice instant improvement in your overall website design when you follow these suggestions. The first tip is to organize your content with content blocks. For example, this website seems like it's throwing out too much content in one place and it looks too busy and disorganized. But the same student later created this website, which looks much more professional, modern and organized. The key is to use content blocks to organize your content. Let's take a look at how to do so. In this website, Thankful, you will see its content is well organized in blocks. The first block of content is for the logo, navigation bar and the main image. And then there is a cream color content block for another chunk of content. If you scroll down further, you will see a big white block for their service details and so on. You will also notice that text and images are alternated with each other for a balanced look. Here is another great example, visitgreenland.com. You will see the first block has the logo and things like that. And then there is a body content block and another body content block with a nice teal background. The website keeps going on and on that way. Organizing your content into blocks will make your website look clean, modern, and most importantly, easy to follow. The second tip is to maintain consistency in your fonts and colors throughout the website. For fonts, you should decide font styles for your titles and body in advance and use them consistently. For example, this student used different fonts for body, as you see here and also different fonts for titles, like this. This website didn't seem to have a solid plan for typography, which makes the website look rather unprofessional. However, the Visit Greenland website demonstrates a good plan for typography. The style used for the title font is consistently used throughout the home page. And you can see the same thing with the body font. If you want to add more variety, Keep the same fonts, but use them in different sizes so that the website still has a consistent look. A rule of thumb is to pick two or maybe three fonts at maximum to use for your website. The same principle applies to choosing colors for your website. You should have one or two point colors that match your logo colors. Use these colors consistently for your titles, icons and buttons. Back to the Visit Greenland website. You will see that dark red and teal colors are used consistently for icons, buttons and the background. The dark red color is also in the logo. In this website, Eves, the student used dark purple as a point color and did a great job using it consistently throughout his website. The next piece of advice is about margins. Keep in mind that you should add enough margin around your content so that it doesn't look too crammed. Also, remember to use margins in a consistent way. In this example, there is not enough margin up here, but there is too much down here. But in the Thankful website, margins are used consistently around each text block. Finally, for your logo, please use a PNG file, not a JPG, so that it blends well with your background. And when you resize images, keep the original image ratio. For example, these images are stretched up and down. Don't do this. You should always keep the original image ratio so that your images don't look distorted. I know we've covered a lot in this video. To recap, first, organize your content in content blocks. Second, maintain consistency with your typography and color choices throughout your website. Third, have adequate margins around your content blocks. And finally, use a PNG file for your logo and keep the original ratio for your pictures when revising them. I hope you will apply these principles immediately as you seek to create a professional looking website.